looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. There is no coming to consciousness without pain. The word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. The healthy man does not torture others. Generally, it is the tortured who turn into torturers. The least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. It all depends on how we look at things and not how they are in themselves. The pendulum of the mind alternates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. Man needs difficulties. They are necessary for health. We should not pretend to understand the world only by the intellect. The judgment of the intellect is only part of the truth. A man who has not passed through the inferno of his passions has never overcome them. Nobody, as long as he moves about among the chaotic currents of life, is without trouble. Mistakes are, after all, the foundations of truth, and if a man does not know what a thing is, it is at least an increase in knowledge if he knows what it is not. The greatest and most important problems of life are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved, but only outgrown. Man's task is to become conscious of the contents that press upward from the unconscious. Who has fully realized that history is not contained in thick books, but lives in our very blood? The word belief is a difficult thing for me. I don't believe. I must have a reason for a certain hypothesis. Either I know a thing, and then I know it. I don't need to believe it. Our heart glows, and secret unrest gnaws at the root of our being. Dealing with the unconscious has become a question of life for us. All the works of man have their origin in creative fantasy. What right have we then to depreciate imagination? Masses are always breeding grounds of psychic epidemics. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. Loneliness does not come from having no people around you, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to you. I'm grateful for the moments shared in discourse. May our paths cross again in the fullness of time.